Hi everyone, my name is Deepa. In this video, we are going to see what are the three mistakes that you're making which is stopping you from becoming a millionaire in your nine to five job. The moment you hear, if the moment you hear someone saying, hey, I want to become a millionaire, everybody says, okay, great. Quit your nine to five job and go to go and do entrepreneur or start a business. But you really don't have to do that. Now, if you really want to start a business, go and do. But if you want to become a millionaire, you can do it with your nine to five job. So that is what we are going to see. What are the three mistakes that is actually stopping you from going, getting there? The first thing is stop leaking money. It's very important. What I mean by this is everybody has interest in so many things, right? Uh, now, let me say I had interest in luxury items a long time ago. I was just buying and I still love it. But there was a time when I buy so many things and I have no, I have no idea why I needed all those 10 items in there. Like one would have been enough, but one or two. So I, I really like that. So that's a way of leaking money. And with me, what happened is when I was making okay money, like when I was making enough money, I was spending more. When I started making more and more, I started spending less and less. So it's, it's the other way around for me. But anyway, the leaking money, like you have to stop that. For example, sometimes people will upgrade their houses. I mean, they upgrade, upgrade. They wouldn't even use half the portion of their house, but they'll keep on upgrading. They'll look at their neighbor, look at other people, keep on upgrading. Now, do I need the upgrade? Do I not? Doesn't matter. They just do that. And that is also a waste of money. I mean, if something is good, what are you going to do by doing it better? Yes, if something breaks, you have to fix. Most of the time, that's not the case. So anyway, these kind of unnecessary upgrades, unnecessary, like the things that you really want is okay, but something that you're doing just for to please others or just looking at others, this, um, this luxury things or those things can be avoided so that before you earn a lot of money, it's very important to first uh, stop the leak so that when you earn more, it stays. For example, if you are going to be spending like 100 comes in, 100 spent, 1,000 comes in, 1,000 spent, 100,000 comes in, 100,000 going to be spent. So that's how it works. That if that happens, how can you become a millionaire? How? So the first thing is leaking money, right? Stop leaking money. The second one, this is a very important one. Learn a high income skill. Learn a high income skill. Now, Five years from now, if you're going to be competing with the same crowd and for the same position, seriously, you have done something wrong in your career or with your career. The amount of time that you spent at your work, maybe you could have spent elsewhere well, but nothing came out of it is what I would say. Because, so maybe instead of going there, let me tell you. So when I started out, I was one among like, 15 20 people like whenever i go and go for a interview it's always a lot of people to compete with there are times when i get or not but you know there are times when i prefer a solo performance versus a group performance i used to be a classical dancer i'm great with both i love team you know doing working with the team at the same time doing solo performances like dance i'm saying but there are times when i like to be one be one Sometimes, you know, how many times do I want to do the group thing? Yes, you have to do team effort, but the, comp the competition should be more and more, the more years as it passes, it has to be with a different group of people. It should be in the completely different uh, level, right? Not in the same level where you started, right? So how you do that? By learning an high income skill. Now, when I started, I'll just give you my example because I cannot talk for everybody i can give you one example and then you can see in your field wherever you are and what is your i income skill so for for me it was when i started it was like in testing in pharmaceutical and medical devices industry and i started in testing business analyst 
computer validation. There was so much crowd, so many people, so many people have to compete with. And there was a time I was thinking, oh my goodness, how many times do I have to compete with 100 people? Like every time I go for a interview, this is too many people. I need to specialize. So I started doing specializations. The more I specialized in, what happened is that I went into medical devices, software devices, software and then the competition, when I, when I compete, the crowd is completely different with the crowd that I competed five years ago. It's completely different. So what I'm saying is, and also that earns you more money because now more and more, your skill becomes less and less, right? Like, I mean, not in the other way, but the way is like, there are very less people with your skill set. So that is the other way that you can become a high income earner by having a high income skill. Important. I Till this day, I remember this example. Um, when I was a consultant, like long, long time ago, one time when I went for a pro pro project, I was one among 25 people who were consultants there. 25 people. So there was a time when there, they had like a meetup and then the sponsor of the project was sitting in middle in the middle of the room and then everybody else were around her and she was explaining things. And that day I was just listening. Of course, I was listening to what she was saying, but also I was thinking, hmm, I want, I want, a day to come where I would like to be there in that seat and I'm addressing to a couple other like many consultants I really want that to happen so anyway fast forward six years and then slowly like once you have a desire once you put it out there some of you will get an answer of how to do it so six years later there was a I was working on another project anyway and then there were we were hiring like 20 consultants and then I was the sponsor for that project I was sponsor made me a sponsor so anyway i was handling them i was giving them the task and everything so it's the same thing right i was sitting and then i'm addressing those people and it felt so good it was like yeah six years ago i wanted it now why i'm saying this is you you when you have a desire right you you, you, don't, you shouldn't be competing with the same crowd and the same thing and all that so so when you have a desire put it out there and it will happen and learn a high income skill or turn, try to turn your skill into a high income skill, which will give get you the money, right? Which will give you a lot of money. And once you, st with the first step, once you stop the leak, stop the leaking money, and then you came with this second thing, which is like the high income skill. Now all this money is there for you to do whatever you want with it, like investment, which takes you, takes me to the third option, third thing, which is investing. Investing is key. Now, uh, there are so many ways you can do it. Now, like now, savings is great, right? Savings is really good. You need to have at least six months of savings in your bank so that you can use it for immediate usage. But keep in mind with the, <clears throat> with the savings, the interest rate is like what, 1%? Like seriously, the money is not going anywhere and it, basically it's not growing, going to grow that much. Investment is the way to go. Now, if you're working in a corporate job, what you can do is there is 401k, like these are all pre-tax, right? Pre-tax, 401k, HSA, there is a cap to it. Like there is a limit to how much you can contribute to that. You have to check that. You can just check it with the, in the IRS website. So you can do the um, HSA, 401k, which kind of does the pre-tax money, which is great. That alone is not enough for you to become a millionaire. Now it's a good way to start because if you don't see the money, you can't use it. So that's a good, excellent way to start. But you can also do other investments. Like there's so many things. We do it through E-Trade and we do Fidelity and also Vanguard. So there are great ones and we do index funds. Like that, that I'm not going to go there. Any investment is great. So investment is key now Roth IRA is also a great one now for us we like there is a limit like you need to have been a certain income group to contribute to that if you are in the higher level income group then you can't contribute but anyway the point is this investment so these are the three ways now go check out check out your you know bank balance or things your credit card statements whatever it is and make sure where it where you are actually wasting the money and how you can do that by the way i'm a life coach too so i actually help specifically women if you're in their 
company they are trying to get to the next level or they're coming into the work stream and getting into the life sciences and medical devices plus also sustaining in a work environment i am a life coach for that and reach out to me if you have any questions i'll put down my information below have a wonderful day bye